up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we are week six into eternal evolution and i don't know what happened uh, there's a week four i seem to have missed week five um that was you know mistakes were made um week five we we're still going strong uh, now into week six things are definitely slowing down a lot um we'll talk about that in a moment um mistakes were made as well made a huge mistake on the account um, if we look in the collection, I was really excited and we bought a large trophy slot. And really, I should have gone for a small because I cannot buy a large trophy anywhere in the shop. So that's a completely wasted slot now. And if we look at our collection, I've got loads of small trophies. And we've even got this legendary enamel cat um, who's great for arena. So, yeah, should have got that first. And what you could do here as well is slot in the cat for when I'm in the arena. And then if we're doing PvE, just take it out and put in one of these ones for that. So yeah, big, big mistake from the real deal. Um, and also I've changed my strategy a lot as well now on how I'm spending diamonds and also where I'm focusing in on the game as well. So let's look at um, heroes first and then we'll talk about strategy. Oh, that's the bag. There's the heroes. So you can see like loads of immortals now and um, some legendaries as well. And evolving your heroes is huge. Uh, Miranda's pretty new to the account. She is great. Um, she's helped me progress in Sincero's Marsh to clear EX1. So yeah, she is a great hero. Um, does like big fat shields and a bit of healing as well. Uh, Anpu, obviously still leaning heavily on him, um, managed to, is it temper? <laughs> we managed to tamper with some of his gear and that gave me, I'm sure I went from 15k to 25k attack from one piece of gear. So that is a huge, huge stat bonus. Um, that is like almost better than all my gear put together. So yeah, that is just like massive. Um, I'm not going to be able to temper temper tamper with um much gear now though because you need um these consumables and i can't really farm them at the moment um it's like way way further down the line um but you do get these from like events and stuff so if you can obviously get them but yeah it's gonna be hard it's gonna be really really hard but yeah anpu obviously still leaning heavily on him are still a hardcore carry for the account um, and I'm just going to sort of rewind a little bit, look at um, the, you know, sort of where we were at week one to where we are now. And just bringing that up. So let's do the highest level hero. I just think it makes it a little bit easier to figure out. So we're at 130 in week one, 150 in week two. Week three, 165. Week four, 170. And then two weeks, we've got to 200. Um, so we've done 30 levels over two weeks. So I guess we sort of did probably 20. Oh no, 180. So 180 was actually our max. So yeah, we've only done 20 levels in two weeks. So you can see where it's really started to slow down. And we're only really going up by like 10 levels at a time now. And if we just sort this by it, Oh, actually, sorry, let me just close that. And yeah, if we look at level now and click on Carmore, um, you know, we need like 100k rubies now to get to that next level. Um, I think we're pretty good for these um, EXP potions. But yeah, um, but obviously it's the rubies that are sort of slowing us down and sort of putting that roadblock into place. And I just want to sort of go back by quality as well. Um, yeah, I guess like the other thing that I'm really struggling for on resources is exclusives. Um, definitely you want to, don't go ham on these. Definitely only use it on your best heroes. And sort of, you want to try and concentrate it onto, I'd say like a generalist. I use Anpu 
in literally almost every team. So he's a generalist for me. I can use him in so much content in the game. So that's why he's great to focus on. So let's come out of heroes. Let's look at how we're sort of spending diamonds now. So I am literally not spending diamonds anymore in the shop. I'm not doing the refreshes, even though they're kind of cost effective. Um, I just need to save my, my diamonds, basically. That's what it comes down to. And I guess it's the wasteland as well. Like here, I'm not spending... Sometimes some really good deals come up and I'm not spending diamonds here anymore either. I'm just literally saving them for the dungeons in Lost Valley, buying as stamina as much as I can. And then the triangle as well. So I'm just fully maxing out stamina every day because I can just get so much better gear here than I can from uh, the Disa Caves. So yeah, really, really focused on the triangle at the moment. And we're doing okay, sort of level three. I think I need to get to hard when I can start to farm um, where we can start. To, so this is where we can farm and start getting that gear. Well, these consumables so we can tamper with our gear. And like I said, that massively bumps up our level. Whoa. And you can see as well, like, so I thought we were sort of, you know, near to mid game. I still, I feel like now we're still early game when we get to like level seven hard that's when i'd say we're sort of mid game and when we reach hell that's when we'll be like sort of into the end game so yeah we're nowhere near where i thought we were but yeah but obviously massively want to focus on triangle try and push as much as we can and what i would do is for example say i could on this boss if i could get to hard then I would sort of save these tickets for this because that's where I can farm the consumables and that is just going to help me, you know, massively. Like you saw, like a 10k power jump in attack is huge. That is, it's just absolutely crazy. So that's what we want to be doing. Um, In the Lost Valley as well, let me just bring up my trusty spreadsheet and see where we were um, at week four. Slide it along. So week four, we were only at level 12. Um, I guess I got to level 15, and now we're on EX1. Um, I have to manually it, but it's quite easy to clear. I will drop a video on this very, very soon, so you guys can see how we do that. Um, then for the DCKs, we're on level 15, and we jumped from level 12. Um, but again, I don't feel like I need to focus on this too much. Um... The gear, you know, the gear is nice that we get from here, but I'm definitely more focused on um, the triangle because the gear, the stats, the sets are so much better. That's definitely where we're going to focus on. I've definitely neglected the Terra Dome. I feel like today I am going to pump a load of resources in it just so I can get some more pro uh, prototypes. I'm doing really, really well for the prototypes, but I just feel like I need a little bit more... Um, and you do need to balance things out in this game. And um, the strategy I was originally using was just farm Disa Caves all day long. Then I was just focused heavily on Sinsara's Marsh. Need to just, I for me, I lightly tap the Terra Dome. Um, but I'm going to go back to, I think today and tomorrow, I'll probably, you know, sink probably, I don't know, 40 stamina into the Terra Dome. And then I'll go back to Sinsara's Marsh. But the reason we want to focus heavily on Sincero's Marsh is that we can upgrade our commanders. And we want to try it. You need, and you need loads of copies for this. So I need eight to get to level 45. And to get to 50, I'm guessing we probably need 60. But the reason we want to do this um, is the faster you get a commander to level 50, we get class technology. And you need to have a triple SSS commander at level 50 to do this i don't know what this does but it must be a huge boost to the account so that's why i want to try and um get here as quickly as i can and that will do you know do so much for the account so that's sort of what we're doing at the moment crimson abyss we're now at level five as well um, i'm not buying stamina here at the moment 
because I just want to focus on the triangle and Lost Valley. Like I said, gear and commanders are what I'm focused on at the moment. And I can wait. I feel that I don't need to get my heroes to level. I think the, I think the cap's 240. I don't want to rush that. I don't feel like that's going to help me as much as getting my heroes better gear. I just feel like it's not going to benefit me as much. Um, then the soul mine, we are, we've gone from 275 to 336. Um, I definitely feel like I've hit a wall here now. Um, let's just see what is the, the level 3.7 mil. Yeah. I, I am struggling with that. And I think if we look at campaign as well, uh, I've not written down where we were in campaign, but yeah, we're going up like five mil power and we're at 1.8. It's going to be a struggle. So it's definitely going to be a while before I sort of can do anything any more on that. And then I guess it's Arena and Ancient Altar. So the Ancient Altar, we are already in hell. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're in hell, guys. And um, to be fair, I think it's pretty easy. Um, you know, I'll show you the, sort of the teams that I'm using. So using energy heroes here, then team two, and the game has crashed. All right, guys, I'll be back in a mo. And yeah, guys, it's quite funny. So um, yeah, as I was trying to reboot, I found the lost tape of week five. So I will drop that video very, very soon. Um, yeah, what a noob is the real deal. Um, yeah, so this is the team two. Here is team three. And at the moment, we are, so with five keys in hell, we are getting to level three. Um, I was thinking, just just like hypothetically talking, let's say we use three keys and we could get to 37 mil. There's, you know, I with three keys, I can do like, say, we do 40 mil. That would not be enough if I did another key to do, I couldn't do 23 mil. So rather than sink all my keys straight into here, I'd actually do like three. I know you get five keys for this. I'm just saying hypothetically. Um, so we do three keys into hell and then I would do one key into hard as well. And you'd probably like, I should easily be able to do it. I probably could do level two, level three. But the reason for this is, is that in here, we're getting these gene hybrids, which are great. Um, you know, when you get 60, you can pull any hero that you choose. So, oh no, not pull. You can use them to evolve your heroes. They are huge. But we could also pick up some epic runes, frag exclusives as well. So I think that's a really good way to do that. Obviously, as I progress, I will start to do that. And, you know, you'll sort of do hell. Then once you can, like, say, four, three key hell, then you'd move to doing the lower ones as well. So absolutely smashing arena right now. We're ranked 16 at the moment. Um, definitely starting to push up against some of the hard, harder people. And I just want to find this guy. Where is where is he? David Madrid. Uh, he's not going to be here today. But this guy is my rival. Um, I cannot beat him for love or money. Let's see if he's in Galactic Arena. Uh, we did manage to finish in Masters for uh, Galactic Arena. So that was great. Got loads of juicy, juicy rewards for that. And I uh, cannot find David Madrid. But yeah, absolutely hate this guy. Um, he, I'm like double his power level. And it's just his team comp is so strong. The guy obviously knows what he's doing where we don't. Um, but yeah, let's see. So when I finished, I think 45 in masters. So, you know, getting loads of epic runes, um, getting some star coins and limited recruitment cards as well. Um, hell arena. So we're progressing nicely for this. We're elite fighter now. Uh, how, let's see, how do you find out how many, how many levels of ranking are there in this? Hmm. Rewards, ranking battles. 
Yeah. I just want to see. Oh, okay, so you've got two more. So we've got Elite, which I think, is that where we are at the moment? Yeah, so we're Elite. So we're Elite. And that was in here. So it goes Elite, Legendary, Endless. All right, so we're sort of almost to the end for that as well. So another two weeks, potentially. Oh, but no David Madrid. Yeah, just, oh, this guy, just like constantly on my case. Um, but yeah, so this is where we're at. So we're second. We should definitely get him promoted. Um, and we are, again, just getting really, really nice rewards from this. So I probably will play second. Oh, I can finally get some of these red tokens. Um, I believe, yeah, this will be the first time we get them. Let's sort of just look in the shop and see. Ah, oh, more, more, and there's, yeah, small, we're getting more trophies from here as well. You can also buy some keys as well. The awakenings are nice to get. I just thought that's going to be a very, very long time before we can really get those. So personally, I'd focus on the trophies first and the keys, and then I would probably, yeah, prioritize. It's only if you got Karaxa as well, um, then I'd get her awakening materials. Otherwise, yeah, go for astral tickets as well. Um, otherwise, you just, you know, you're just buying it for the sake of buying it. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at in the game. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other big mistakes that I've made. Um, I guess like Maka, Muka, uh, this guy, not loving him. I've sunk a lot of resources into him. Personally, I feel like he's trash. Carmore, trash as well. Both of them are doing nothing for the account. Um, Falva as well, like, I think she just sucks balls, to be honest. Um, but the only reason you have to invest in her is for this mission, um, for the recruitment trial. So because of that, that is literally the only reason um, I'm doing things for her. But yeah, I just feel like she's not that great. So um, yeah, she's really not impressed me. I had her in really, really good gear. I've been put her in even better gear now. And her exclusive, okay, it's only at plus 10. And like talents as well. Almost fully, you know, full talents. And yeah, she just sucks, like seriously. So I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure to smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you all in a video soon. Peace.